Yo, what is good out there everyone? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a good Saturday. In today's video, we're going to be going over the solo money glitch and a way easier method on how to hit this, alright? You don't want to miss this one. We're going to get into it right after this. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you don't miss any of my latest videos. If you're also interested in GTA 5 online modded accounts, go ahead and go to my latest upload and click on this link in the description. This will lead you to the website Digizani. This is the most trusted site to purchase cash and rank services on all platforms for GTA 5 Online at reasonable prices. Don't forget once you're done shopping, add the discount code EEZY to save some money at the end of your checkout. Alright, so getting back into today's video. Big shout out to the founder, NHJYYS, for finding this solo dupe glitch that we are doing right now. If you guys haven't checked out my last video that I posted yesterday, it already has 10,000 views, so thank you so much for all that, alright? I really do appreciate it. Now, it's basically the same as that video, but we are cutting out a huge part of the glitch, okay? So, you're going to need the same thing. For, the, for those of you that didn't tune in for my last video, check it out, but... I'm going to go over everything again in this video. So you're going to need the facility and the bunker, all right? You want the MOC with the personal vehicle storage, empty or with a car in there, doesn't really matter. But right now I recommend you get your LG Retro Custom or whatever Benny's vehicle you're duping and we're going to be putting it inside of the actual MOC. All right, you can do this in an invite only session. This works for Xbox One and PS4. Probably not PC because it's a merge glitch, all right? You do not need custom plates for this. So that's really good news for a lot of you that have gotten your custom plates taken away recently, all right? Or you're in the one car day club. Uh, it kind of sucks, but it is a reality. So in your facility, I recommend you throwing a bunch of RHAs or Fagios in there, okay? Because you're going to be duping over those. Now, so you see what I'm doing right here? This is the car that I'm going to be duping. This is the LG Retro Custom. I'm going to go ahead and drive it into my, into my bunker and then into my MOC. Now we're just going to drive it out and we're going to leave it in this spot that it always spawns in when you drive out in the bunker. Okay, so as you can see right here, I'm parked here in this spot. Remember I have a roll easy plate on there, right? You're going to see a new plate by the time we end this, this, uh, this dupe right here. So get out of the car on foot and exit the bunker on foot. Okay, you're going to be leaving that car in that spot. Now, because we don't want our personal vehicle icon to actually go away, or the PV to go away in general, what you want to do is, I think the best bet is to actually call up a CEO Buzzard. Now, the CEO Buzzard is still one of the most convenient vehicles in the game, but the best thing is, it will keep that LG Retro Custom in the bunker, and we can, you know, actually uh, travel pretty quickly. Now, if as you can see right here, I have the farmhouse bunker and the windmill farm uh, facility. They are fairly close to each other, especially, you know, flying in a buzzard, all right? You just, it's just a quick fly right over the highway, and then you're good to go. So I definitely recommend having this facility and that bunker if you are going to be doing this glitch. It's probably the quickest trip that you can take, unless you're in maybe Polito Bay, all right? So now we're going to go ahead and go to our facility. So I'm going to go ahead and enter, and remember that LG Retro Custom is still sitting in the bunker, all right? That's why you don't want to call out any other personal vehicles. So once I go into my facility, which should be full of RH8s or Fagios, both of them will work, right? Pretty much any vehicle that you want to dupe over will work. Now, I have a Fagio here that I'm going to use, and I even have Sanchez's, so I know it works on probably any vehicle, okay? So I'm going to hop into this Sanchez, and this is where some of you have had a few problems, and I'm going to clarify it. What you want to do is open up the phone and hit the gas pretty much at the same time. But over here on PS4, I'm actually pressing R2 a little bit before up on the D-pad. So I recommend hitting the gas slightly before hitting up on the D-pad. All those were fails because I was too slow. If done successfully, you will see the phone come up and then you'll be hit on a black screen. So you see that? The phone did come up, but I'm going to spawn outside. And check this out. I'm going to spawn outside on foot. You, the vehicle might despawn right in front of you. Uh, that doesn't always happen, but the phone will be up and then you can put it away. And you have successfully glitched out that vehicle. Now, since we have our CEO buzzard right here, we're just going to take this back over to the bunker so that we can find that dupe. All right, remember, we left that LG Retro Custom parked right there in that spot. And believe it or not, that little move right there, pulling up the phone and actually driving out, that actually merged the plate from the vehicle that we just had. So whatever plate was on that Fagio, that plate has now transferred over to the LG Retro Custom. Well, the game hasn't caught up yet, but it's about to. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and land right here. Nice short trip. Uh, land right here at the farmhouse bunker and make my way inside on foot okay 
Remember, do not call out any personal vehicles. You do not want that car to despawn. All right. There's probably more potential with this. I feel like this is just the beginning of this little exploit. Uh, but we have a really cool solo dupe with this that's extremely easy. So as you can see right here, I'm going to go ahead and go into my bunker and the car should still be here. So look at the plate. All right. The plate says roll easy on the back. Once I get in, you're going to see the plate change right before your eyes. All right. So you're going to see roll easy right there. And then all of a sudden, boom, generic plate. All right. That's the generic plate that was on the Fagio. So no custom plates needed for this glitch. You get a fresh plate for every dupe. Now we need to go ahead and save it. So I'm going to press right D-pad, go in there. Remember, we had the original LG Retro Custom. That just transferred over to the facility. Now the dupe is over here in the actual MOC. All right, that's how that works. And this is fully saved. So if you want to rinse and repeat, no need for targeting mode, no need for any of that for recent activities. That whole part has been completely cut out of the glitch, okay? All we got to do now is just literally park this here. I was kind of, that was kind of glitched out. If you notice, it was pretty dark. Uh, you couldn't really see the plate. But uh, yeah, so go ahead and leave your car in this spot right here where it spawns. Don't drive up and down like I did. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you're going to go back outside on foot. And that's literally how you reset. So before we had to actually, while we're in the bunker or while we're making our way in the bunker, Xbox needed a friend in another targeting mode and PlayStation needed a recent activity. Now that did glitch out the car, but you actually don't need that whatsoever. Apparently the only the only glitchiness that you need is over there at the facility. You just need to get that weird glitched out phone exploit thing going. And then once you got that, you're good to go. So as you can see, just like before, I'm rinsing, repeating, I'm leaving the LG Retro Custom in that parking spot in the bunker. And I'm just gonna fly the buzzard over to the facility and we're just gonna do the phone glitch again. Okay, so this you will get better at i promise the little phone glitch in the very beginning usually when i'm just you know getting ready for the day and i'm starting this glitch out for the first time it might take me two or three tries to actually get it to work but trust me it is not that hard to master whatsoever you can get it that is something new that rockstar has put in the game that we noticed we're getting kicked out of you know vehicles everywhere when pulling up the phone so this is a nice way to actually uh, implement or implement a glitch using that little, you know, patch that they did. So yeah, big shout out to NHJ for figuring that out. So now what you want to do is you can see the original is right there in that spot. I'm going to use the Sanchez this time and I'm going to do the same thing up on the D pad and gas basically at the same time, right trigger a little bit quicker than up. All right. On the D pad. And there you go. Look at that. I got it. Second try spawned outside with the uh, vehicle temporarily and then the phone up all right put your phone away the vehicle will despawn by itself and then i can go ahead and fly back over to the bunker okay so guys this is as easy as it gets all right i'm not sure how this glitch can become any easier but as you can see no weird alerts that you have to follow up on none of that the only little hurdle that you have to go through in this glitch now is that up on the d-pad and gas and if you do fail that i actually failed that once uh the bad way and that's if you hit right trigger too early before the phone comes up you actually spawn outside and that's your personal vehicle so you have to return that vehicle to storage and then come back over here and get the lg retro custom and park it in that spot again okay that's just letting you know if you do fail that the other way most people are going to fail just getting kicked out of the vehicle while inside the facility but if you do happen to fail that other way make sure you just come back to the beginning and start it you know get this retro custom from your moc park it in this spot then make your way over to the facility and retry the phone glitch okay so this is nearing the end of the glitch right here i'm going to go ahead and hop into this retro custom and i'm just going to show you the plate real quick uh, IBP 003 all right so as you can see right there that's the plate and it will change once again right in front of you as I get in there you go all right DQX 849 that's the new plate all right so a brand new plate some people were asking where do all the cars go and like I said the car in the MOC right now goes to over to the facility the dupe gets saved inside the MOC so that's the process eventually your facility will be filled up with all of your dupes and the original all right but uh, with Benny's vehicles, doesn't matter what the original is, they will all sell for the same price. I have my original as a custom plate, so I know that that's the one just because it has spaces in it. It's a modded custom plate, so I definitely would like to keep that. All right, so that's pretty much the whole video. You guys know if you want to rinse and repeat now, keep the car in that spot, and you go ahead and head over to the facility and do your thing, okay? But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me, guys. I really hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. This is the solo money glitch to do to make money. We got that new DLC, the nightclub DLC, which is on its way. That should be coming out within the next month, I think, honestly. 
But uh, yeah, make sure to drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos. If you're brand new, please subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.